Hi, this is Karen at howtotap.com, and uh, this is a continuation of after aspects, uh, why aspects are so important, in, and how we use them in tell the story technique. Tell the story technique um, was one of the very first things developed by the founder, Gary Craig. And essentially what it is, is there is a, um, it's a way to deal with events because the more specific you can be, like with aspects, the more specific if you work on one event, um, even if it's not the core event, let's just say it's one event that is triggering you. Even working on that, you have to learn how to separate it because most people don't understand how to separate their feelings because they, they name the thing like, I almost drowned, or that time I was hit by a car, or, and if you do something like my father always beat me, then you have to pick one, either the biggest one or the first one you can remember. Um, or if, it's, if it freaks them out and they're very upset, you do not pick <laughs> the biggest one. You start with a different one because there's something called psychological extinction and um, uh, the generalization effect that will, and, and I'll teach you that in the, in the online course, um, and as well as, as in private mentoring. So <clears throat> for specifics. Now, I think I got purple on my finger because <laughs> it's a purple pen um this one's the purple pen All right, so <clears throat> anytime i almost drowned we'll, we'll do use that one what happens is i call it living in the mountain so this is i almost drowned that's all these aspects right this is about the dog remember it's all of these aspects right here so you are actually tapping when you do this on the mountain of feelings of I almost drowned, I'm afraid of dogs or whatever it is. So in this particular case, this was an actual client. She, um, she thought she could learn, she thought she knew how to swim and because she learned in a pool, but she went into an ocean. And so you can, what you can do is how do you feel about I almost drowned at a zero to 10? They're gonna say 105 because they are living in this mountain and all these aspects are getting to them. And the amygdala is freaking out. The amygdala keeps you safe in your brain and it's like, no, run, stop, no, no water, mm -mm, can't swim, can't do it. So you, what you have to do is you don't want them to live in the mountain. So what you do is you go to an ordinary time before she almost drowned, okay? Now, you would think that this, when we, when we teach the movie technique, we call this a title. You give the movie a title. She calls it, I almost drowned. Well, when, and I'll show you that in a minute when you do the movie technique, that is too triggering because they live in the mountain. So let's call this, so there's going to be an ordinary point before the bad thing happened and an ordinary point after the bad thing happened. Okay. So this is, I, this is when she almost drowned. There's going to be things that lead up to this and things that lead down, lead here because there's other aspects. And the way to break down the mountain is the same way to break down aspects. So what you do is you have to find out, go to an ordinary place before the bad thing happened. I was, uh, um, it was, I was standing on the beach looking at the water. Okay, so here we are. I'm standing on the beach looking at the water. Now, I'm going to drown. <laughs> so I think I'm going to drown. I'm going to do my God this. So first of all, this is going to be hard. This is one of the hardest things that new people have trouble with, even, even seasoned people, is to get their client to really actually, in their mind, go before the bad thing happened because they live here. I was raped. I almost drowned. My daddy hit me the time that the car hit me. That's where they're going to live. And they're going to just slide into the mountain, slide into the mountain, slide and mountain. So your job as a practitioner, and even if you're working on yourself, is to get yourself really truly in your mind before the bad thing happened. Because you know what? I mean, you know it's coming. But when you're standing on that beach, looking at the waves, you're like, oh, I can swim now. Yay! And so I'm going to go in the water. There is no fear there. So you have to make sure that you separate that you've got to get them here and because we're going to start working on aspects in a minute. So now you let them, you start them here, go to an ordinary point before the bad thing happened. I'm going to write, tell the story up here. Because that's the technique we're using. So what happens is I'm standing at the water and, you know, I'm actually kind of happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go swim. 
and I stick my feet in the water. And so now you're having her tell the story like she's watching a movie. And what you're going to do is ask her how she feels about it. So she's watching it. She's watching. Now they all, they all ask you, um, they'll also tell you how they, how they, they'll say is your clients will say, or yourself, do you want me to talk about how I felt then or how I felt about it now? We usually do how you feel it about it now, except that when you're over here, she's going to be sliding into the mountain. So you have to keep them on track where they are. So at the time I'm, you know, it's only because I know what's going to happen that I'm, that I'm scared. So when you, I want you to think, you know, how do you feel about when you go, well, what happened is I was putting my feet in, in the um, sand and when the waves came in and went out, the sand would sink and I, my feet, I would sort of like lose my balance a little bit and I'd okay, okay, stop right there. Cause there's a little bit of a, a negative emotion there. Right. And then you say, okay, how does that make you feel? And you go, um, so there's a little, it's not a big deal. So they're not really upset. It's just a little, it's a little tiny feeling like this is the mountain. So it's just like this much. So what happens is now what you do is we go back to the other thing that we did and what we're going to do is find the aspects, right? So the first aspect of this might be, um, I'm making it up, except this was a real client. So I guess I'm trying to remember. Um, it's it like, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm off balance. Off balance. And uh, it's nervous. Okay, off balance, zero to 10. I can't spell. Um, that's uh, too nervous. Um, that's not a lot. I'll give it a three. Um, is there anything else? Yes, yeah, or sort of like second guessing that I really know how to swim. There's a little bit of maybe this is different. All right. So second guessing that I know how to swim. What is that? Eh. Uh, that's it too. Maybe this is different, meaning um, maybe swimming in the ocean is different than swimming in a pool. That's a big one. Uh, because that's part of living in the mountains. So that's a 10. Now, this is key here, what I just said, because maybe this is different, uh, meaning uh, the ocean versus pool. Because remember, she learned how to swim in a pool. So this is a 10 because when she gets here, it, it, she knows that swimming in an ocean is different than swimming. And that's part of the problem. So um, the ocean versus pool, is ex this is extremely important, which means this. See, what we're going to do is we're going to tap all these aspects down to zero before we let her move on into the story. So we tap eat, we, one at a time, just like we did in aspects. I would start with the biggest one. Uh, some people start with smaller ones. That doesn't matter, whatever you feel like. Um, even though uh, this may, might be different because I learned to swim in a pool and this is an ocean and they repeat right here, right now, I'm okay. And then you do that two more times. You know, this could be different. Swimming in an ocean might be different than swimming in a pool. I learned to swim in a pool. I'm a little, maybe this is different. Maybe it's different to swim in an ocean. I learned in a pool. Maybe it's different. Okay. All right. And then, so you bring this down and then you test this and it goes down and you're, you're trying to get them all to a zero. Again, you can hop around these aspects until they all get to a zero. Now, the reason this is important, and I'll tell you this in just a second, these have to get to a zero. And it's not going to be that hard because it's a, they're the sand. It's, she's not drowning it. Okay. Then she goes on and she goes, okay, I'm okay. So you okay. Any, anything left with any aspects of that left? No. Now you let her continue. What you've got to be, care, be careful of is she doesn't jump into the mountain. So now then what happened? So you were there and you helped them out. So you were there and the sand came out and you second guessed and you felt off balance and you were nervous. 
And so are, are there anything left there? No, 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 it's fine. It's just, it's just sand. Oh, okay. All right, then what happened? Well, I, I walked deeper into the, into the water. You okay with that? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Actually, I kind of liked it. Good. Yay. Okay, what helped happen then? Um, so I went, I went deeper. Okay, so where's the water? Now, see, I'm trying to follow her, so I'm like, where's the water on you? So I can picture it in my head so I can help her find aspects. I'm trying to tune in to how she's feeling because I'm not afraid of water, right? So how am I going to know? And even if I was afraid of water, my fear of water might be different than hers, okay? Because I never almost drowned. So maybe I'm afraid of water for a whole other reason. So I have to ask her. So we're go she says, I'm going, oh, no, I guess the water is up to about my, my belly button. Okay, you all right? She said, yeah, but there's waves. I'm like, okay. And are you afraid of the waves? No, I'm just surprised. Okay. So we went a little bit, now she's surprised. So now we have more. I'm just gonna put this one over here. <laughs> okay. All right, so you're surprised, zero to 10. It doesn't feel really negative. It, well, yeah, it does. I don't like being surprised about it because I thought I knew how to swim. So I'm gonna also say don't like being surprised. So surprised is what? And concerned. Now they might do that to you. Um, and here it comes alone by myself. Okay, so surprised is about a nine. Whoa. Don't like being surprised is like a 10. <laughs> Concerned is like a three. By myself is like a three. So now, one at a time. Now you might even like do more, you know, of, of this. So being, don't like being surprised might be its own thing, right? You might, okay, don't like being surprised because of this, 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 and this, and you have to measure each one of those. Does this seem like a pain in the neck? Look how long this takes, right? But if you almost drown and you freak out every time you think about it, this is going to take you 40 minutes. So your whole life, you're afraid of water, you, you almost drowned, you can't ever swim again. If, if, I, if I was afraid of water and thinking about this all the time and freaking out living in the mountain, give me 40 minutes. I will do the 40 minutes and then I'll never be, this happened, will never be again. And then I, actually the end of the story is that after we went through this, it became not, I almost drowned and not even I, I survived. It was, I can trust myself for learning how to swim. So that means I can trust myself to learn things. By the way, at the end of this, one of the, one of the side effects, one of the uh, manifestations of this, which she didn't know, we, no, none of us knew, we always find this out later, hindsight is twenty twenty. is that she could never start her business because she couldn't trust what she learned. See, she couldn't trust that she learned how to swim because she almost drowned. So therefore, she's one of those workshop junkies, right? She goes to, you know, do tons of workshops. She has a bunch of letters after her name, but she can, can't actually finish and start practicing anything. Can't, she can't be a practitioner. After we did this, in, in, it was like in three months, she had put up her website, quit her job, put it in a scheduling program on her website, um, had business cards, and was marketing herself to be a practitioner. And she had all kinds of certifications because she couldn't trust what she did, so she never actually had a practice, so she kept going to workshops, kept going. She has a, so all these certifications. So in three months after we did this, all better. So those are the kind of the miracle stories you hear with EFT, if you do it thoroughly. So now, now what we do is we go back just a little bit and you remind them what we're, what we're doing. So they, all this is a zero now, right? So all this is a zero. And now you go through and you go, okay, so you're standing there, the waves are big and, you, and, you, and you're surprised, you don't like being surprised. By the way, I don't like being surprised. Is, is that you should make a note as a practitioner that this probably has other events. So that she doesn't like to be surprised is something else. So she doesn't like to be surprised here, 
but she doesn't like to be surprised. So this is something else we need to work on for her because that's going to, that's going to hinder her. She's going to have to always know what's going on. And then she's not going to be prepared if she gets surprised because she don't like surprises. So there's something that happened there. So that's just a note I make mentally, or I mean, on a piece of paper that we should find out what that is, what that's about and where that came from. So, and you're, you're concerned and you're by myself and you're like, okay, no, I'm fine. It was just, just a wave car. And I'm just looking at a wave. That's what happens. Like before she's all upset about it. And now it's like, it's a wave. So I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but I'm going to give you the idea. And so the wave comes and, and she's fine and she's fine and she's fine. She goes out farther. It's up to her chest and, and one lifts her up. So we would do the aspects on that. And then what happens is um, she, a wave picks up and, and, and she gets sort of off balance. So a wave, a, a wave, so this one, a wave picks her up the first time. Then what happens is she finally gets her balance and she sees another wave coming and realizes there's another wave after that and another wave after that. And that spikes until she actually gets turned upside down and water comes in her nose. And so this one's going to have a lot of this one. The mountain is going to have a lot of aspects. But the thing is, is because you have worked on all these, you are cutting the fear off of each one before you get to the mountain. So if you tap all these down, all these little places down, by the time you get to the mountain, you're about here. Because you've taken care of all this by working, because they're all related, right? So by the time you get to all the aspects here, you are no longer in an impossible mountain because they're not, they're not off balance anymore. Well, there's, she's going to be off balance, but it's not going to be like here because here it was a two. Maybe here it was a two. And here it was, you know, a three or a four. When you tap this down, by the time you get there, she's like, you know, it's just a wave, Corinne, right? So that's what she said. So here it's like, well, I'm off balance, but it's not 105 anymore. It's, a, um, it's not even I'm off balance. Maybe that's a three. It's more like I don't know how to get to the surface. Or I have water in my nose. So it's no longer all these things that used to be a part of this. That's why I tell the story is so important. So you keep going. You have to go to an ordinary point before, before, you know, after the bad thing happened. So then I got my balance and everything was fine, but there were still some waves. And I, so I turned around, started wet, and I was hit by, behind me by a wave. And, and it's smaller than anything else. And then I, I kept going. And then, then there was another wave, but I wasn't really caring because now I have my feet steady. And um, then um, I couldn't get, quite get there at first. I couldn't find my mom a minute. Couldn't find my mom a minute. Okay, so that's, that's half some of the maybe being alone. And then I found her and everything's fine. Okay, so people, again, people live right here. Right? This is where, this is where everybody lives. Inside the mountain. Which is why they freak out. So because this is where they live, your job is to get them here and tell a story. Okay? and then help them get through and cut off. And that's the thing, because what you're doing is you're getting rid of all these aspects, which are all actually a part of the mountain. So by the time you get here, you're only dealing with this little tiny thing. Now here, you might have to go really slowly. You might have to break this down here. So I, so this could, the mountain could be, I got picked up off the ground. Okay, how are you there? All right, so that's right. So the, I got picked up off the ground is here. Right. Then um, I turned I turned upside down here and there's going to be a bunch of aspects here and here. I knew I was going to die. So we're now we're breaking down the mountain into more little aspects. Right. And we're tapping each one down. So you got to really slow them down here. They'll be able to slow down here because because you tapped all this down. And by now they're not freaking out because they're in the mountain anymore. And they're like, this stuff works. And if you don't think that they're thinking that, their subconscious going, look at that. I'm kind of safe. I was never safe when I thought about this before. This stuff just might work. And so, and of course I give the subconscious like the personality, but um, this is just the way to help me teach you. So, so you have to break it up and there's going to be, there's going to be a lot of aspects as they go through. Then I, you know, I put my water in there and then I turn myself and I saw the, oh, I saw the, the top of the ocean and then I got pushed down again. So there's more aspects. And, and then finally I, I found the, my feet on the ground and everything's fine. And then I go and then I, I turn around and I start walking back to, to the, 
half walking, half swimming, and there's another wave. And so all those things we just did. So then you tap down all these things, right? Now you're not done. You're really close to being done. Now what you want, you want to do is you want to go back and you go, great, you did a great job. That's terrific. Now I want you to tell me the story again. This is called testing. What you're doing is getting rid of everything else that could be possibly underneath this. So like if you are in an accident and you break your arm and you scrape your knee, you're not gonna be worried about the scraped knee, you're gonna be worried about your broken arm until this is set. Once this is set and taken care of, you go like, what's the blood all over my leg? I gotta help this too. All right, so what that is, is you go back, right? And you have them tell the story again. So you go through the whole story one more time. And you ask. Now you know what all these were. So I was in the water and I felt the sand coming out. You, know, you, you okay there? Yeah. And we go farther and we, you know, so you go to each one and you might find something else. I had a client whose father used to break in, uh, come into his, her room um, and she was sleeping and he was petting her back but for reasons she knew that it wasn't just petting her back. I mean, he never did anything to her, but he, you know, what guys happen to guys when they get excited, right? So that would happen. And so she would be scared to death. So when we went back through to tell the story, we, we got, we were like right here. And she said, oh my gosh. And she started crying. Now I understand. I'm like, what's going on? What's, what, what is it? So before the, before daddy comes in, what she used to do, she used to have a, uh, like a Cinderella um, metal trash can at Disney. And she put that on the door so it would make a noise when he came in. And now what the manifestation of that is that, you know, she's afraid of metal trash cans. She doesn't know why. She'd have to walk around the other side. She has to have everybody on her floor at work have plastic trash cans. She had, had to have her husband buy only plastic garbage cans for the trash bin. And anytime the sound of the garbage men on like somebody's across the street and the garbage men come by and or, you know that, that make that bang she didn't understand why she was so afraid of metal trash cans now we know so now we work on this new aspect right of the metal trash can and we tap that down and all the what the things she feels about that now because she's no longer living in the mountain this is going to be much easier because she's no longer living in the mountain of what her father did to her and because we've already gone through the story once. So these things come up, oh my gosh, my, my, my leg is bleeding, right? Now that my arm is fixed. So you must test and stop. Maybe there's something less left here that you don't know about. I think I'm gonna sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> and um, so this is why you test until there's absolutely nothing left. And what you'll see your client do is what you see on the internet. They're like, it's just something that happened. Now, of course, I'm talking about I almost drowned and uh, my father came in and, you know, rubbed my back. Um, but what if it's like a rape, right? Or, or something like that where they can't even talk about it. Or somebody died in a car accident or something. Or maybe they were driving. And so they're not going to, this, you have to separate it and go one at a time and go through this. Because by the time they get to the mount, what you don't want to do is go, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do aspects. I killed somebody in my car in a car crash. They're going to freak out here, you know, or I didn't go to the hospital when my, I, you know, I got a, I was supposed to go to the hospital to visit my father and um, I didn't go and he died. So you don't want to go there because you're going to be living in the mountain. So you have to learn aspects to be able to do this because when you get to the, what, what I jokingly call the big end, when you get to the big end, you have to know what aspects to do because it's so important to do aspects during tell the story. Okay. And very quickly, um, I'm going to show you uh, what the difference is in the movie technique. It's very simple. Uh, when Gary Craig first started the movie technique, he, he allowed people to tell the story in their mind in silence. So, so it's movie technique is tell the story, but they do it in silence and they stop themselves for, for uh, describing the aspects. And, you know, when they feel some negative emotion, the problem that we found as practitioners is had allowing them to stop themselves. Um, they will skip over a lot of stuff and not be as good as we are as helping them each and every aspect and slowing them down. So um, 
most people do the movie technique when they get to the tell the story part they do it out loud but you will see others who don't like so maybe somebody doesn't want to tell you what happened they don't want you they don't want you to know this tell the story the whole story it will still work and you can still do it in in, in silence you'll just you might have to test it a few more times you go through it the story again because they'll skip all kinds of stuff so you do it, you do it, you do it, do it, and you go back and test, and then they'll come back and they'll, they'll have more little mountains and more little aspects, and then you do it again and they'll have, so if they're gonna do it in silence, it's just, it's harder for you to facilitate. So what I try to do, and most of my clients trust me, so very rarely do I have somebody who won't say it out loud because it's confidential, I'm not gonna tell anybody. And um, like for instance, these two clients, they're okay with me saying what happened. And um, to, to help teach. So you might have to do it over and over again. So the movie technique is simply a distancing technique, all right? And the reason is, is you start with what I'm gonna teach you very quickly, again, this is gonna take maybe three minutes, five minutes, is you give the movie a title. So in this case, let's say she freaks out so much, she can't even, I can't get her to the beginning of the movie without her sliding into the, to, to the mountain. So will you choose an ordinary moment before the bad thing happened again, right? If she can't get there, like, okay, why don't we just give this movie a title? She want, what title is she want to, going to give it? She wants to give it uh, the I Almost Drowned, right? So that's the title she's going to give it. Well, you can't do that because that's a triggering title. So what you need to do is have her, how about that, you know, what, dips, what else can we call it so you don't get so upset? Like that day at the beach. So we call it that day at the beach, or, and she can change it if you want. So we'll call it that day at the beach. Now we have a movie title called That Day at the Beach. So you go, if you were even, to I don't want you to run the movie, but if you were going to think about running the movie, how do you feel generally zero to 10? Now, this is the only time we do general and EF, general and EFT is, is so that we can, we're like sneaking up on the problem. We're being very careful. This is a distancing technique so you don't fall into the mountain. All right. So zero to 10, run, just thinking about running the movie, what would it be? 10. Okay. So now we tap, even though I have this movie called The Day at the Beach, right here, right now, I'm okay. Three times. All right. Right here, right now, okay. This day at the beach. I have this movie called This Day at Slower, of course. I have this movie called This Day at the Beach. This Day at the Beach, and it's a 10. This Day at the Beach, This Day at the Beach. So whatever. I have this movie called This Day at the Beach. Okay, now what? You take a breath in. If you were going to think about running the movie, what is it now? Seven. Day at the Beach, all right. So you keep tapping on that day at the beach until it gets to a four. Three or four, it's, you have to figure it out. What you're trying to do is get them to the point where they can actually run the movie. You don't, you're not trying to get this to a zero because you're tapping on the whole mountain here and you don't want to tap on the whole mountain. So you're trying to get them to the point where they're just going to run, be able to tell you the story and run the movie. So that's about a four. You know, sometimes it's a three, sometimes it's a five, depends. You just to ask, okay, can we run the movie? You know, can we, can, can you do that? And they go, I don't like it, but I think I'm okay. Now we have some other dis distancing techniques if they can't even think about running the movie at all, but I'm not gonna teach you that right now. All right, you can like put it in a, another planet and all that stuff and tap it down until you can put it in the same room. And okay, so that then, after you get it down to a four, very simple, you just do tell the story. So the movie technique itself is a distancing technique to lead you in to tell the story. In the beginning, you could do it in silence and let them go through the tell the story in their head and let them stop at the aspects. Again, I don't, it's, it's harder to facilitate, especially with the clients I get. I mean, they, I, I, get, I get to begins. I mean, I get people who haven't been able to get rid of something with working with a bunch of other people. So I would, I would they ha I need them to tell me out loud because obviously doing it in their head didn't work because they freak out. And so they need assistance and facilitation to find out what the aspects are so that they could do it. So now you're, you're so that they can get through it and you can tap down the aspects and get all the learnings from it. And so now you just do the same, tell the story. You just go through each piece, they do it out loud and then you go and you go back and test and same deal. All right, it is tell the story. 
So again, the movie technique is a distancing technique, which can sometimes be done in silence if the person is too upset or doesn't want you to know the whole story. They don't want to say it out loud. So yes, that's what ha that that's easily can happen. It's just easier if you have it out loud. And um, so again, movie technique, give a title to, to the, uh, the, the, the story. Uh, one thing about this that everybody does about tell the story and movie technique is they bring it, they're like this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then this, those are all separate movies. Movies or stories should be like two to five minutes, two to five minutes. If like, if like say this was, I can't find my mommy was freaking her out. That would be it. That would be a different tell the story. We would stop here. Okay. And make sure and test this over and over again. And then we would go here. This would be its own movie. So you're coming out of the water, you're feeling exhausted and afraid, and then you can't see your mother. Right? So now we have, we have a new movie where I can't find my mom is the big mountain. And then I, you know, this stuff over here, this stuff over here. So the I can't find my mom is a whole different story. Because what might happen is if she can't find her mom, she's panicking. What's the reason? We go back to how alone here she is. I don't like bad surprises. So this has to do with something else. So while you're tapping on this, what will most likely happen is another event will come up. So you can go to that first event. Just come back to this one and always come back and make sure that's cleared. All right, so that's the movie technique and tell the story. Um, one more little hint, and that is that you don't, it, tell a story is not like, I'm afraid of spiders. That's aspects. The, so the title of this is I'm afraid of spiders. That's, that's, that's your issue. That's not the title of an event of a movie or the story. So if, if you're afraid of spiders or you, you're, you're always late or, you know, you, whatever, the, whatever the presenting problem is, whatever the issue is, there's an underlying reason where you learn that somewhere. So what we're, what we're, what we're, we're trying to do is to find that underlying reason. And you don't specifically don't want to title any movie with something that will trigger them. So the, the title of an issue is not the title of the movie. Does that make sense? So I'm afraid of spiders. That is not the title of the movie. When I was 12 and watched that, watched the spider movie about the tarantula, the title is maybe the movie's about, I watched a movie. I watched this movie. You don't want to watch this movie with a tarantula in it because that's spiking, that's in the mountain. I watched this movie. So the title of this is I watched this movie or maybe just this movie. Now, even though I had this movie called this movie, it's okay because the client will go, I know what movie you're talking about. So even though I have this movie titled this movie, right here, right now, I'm okay. Okay, and right here, right now, I've said three times, said, this movie, this movie, this movie, this movie. So now if you're thinking about running this movie, zero to 10, what would it be until you get down to a four? And then you run and tell the story. I was sitting in the, with my brother and we were watching TV and he flipped the channels. Okay, anything on my, no, that's not a little pissed off that he flipped the channels. Okay, let's do pissed off, even though I'm pissed off. So you get the aspects and then it, you, then you start rolling. In that case, and I'm glad I picked that because it feels a little complicated, but it's not. It's still, he watched a movie. That is the tell the story. That is what made him afraid of spiders. So don't try to get all caught up and, oh my gosh, just go with the client's words and work that way. So thank you. I hope this helps and clarifies things for you. I'm Karin at howtotap.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.